Welcome to the Building Reconciliation Forum, a space where we can have dialogue together, where Indigenous and non-Indigenous people can be in the same room together and get to know each other, listen to each other, listen hard, and really enjoy each other's company and move forward on the project of truth and reconciliation. The, the Building Reconciliation Forum is an annual event that we've had a hand in for the last four years. It's a way of uh, re-engaging our commitment, learning best practices from one another, and moving forward. Uh, it's very important that we, we engage in the truth part of the truth and reconciliation process, but there's a strong, strong desire amongst universities, amongst our First Nations, Inuit and Métis counterparts, to move forward together. We do it at a really elemental level, you know, uh, what is it, what does indigenization look like? Uh, and we do it at a very, um, I think, high level, you know, what does a plan for reconciliation look like? Remember now, universities are elite institutions and we're supposed to have answers. So it's unique for institutions like ours to go forward and say, we don't have the answers to this, but we're certainly willing to find out in cooperation with our partners. So it's a new, um, a new way of thinking about a very large problem. What makes educational institutions the right place to have these kinds of conversations? As uh, Senator Murray Sinclair said in the report of the Truth and Reconciliation uh, Commission, uh, education got us into this mess, education has to get us out of this mess. Uh, the idea being that we have a moral obligation. Uh, education uh, during too long a period in this country was an instrument of, uh, of violence and assimilation uh, for Indigenous people. Education provides the tools uh, that we need to move us past that situation. Education is how we embrace the truth about our country's history. And universities are a good place to have the hard conversations that we need to have about how we move towards reconciliation. This form matters because of, because of our past. It's changing the outlook on education to my elders, to my community members, to myself. I remember from being a, a grade, grade two student in elementary school, being told that I'm not gonna get anywhere in life. I'm not gonna get past high school. I'm nothing but a dumb little Indian kid. And that was the early 90s. And education shouldn't have to have these kind of memories for children. We're learning to unlearn what we've been taught in an institution that's very much about being apart from our family, not having our values seen, not having who we are as people seen. It's actually preparing the road for the young people that are unborn yet coming into university. The seventh generation, we say, so that when they get here, the road is a lot, a lot smoother for them to get along with. Reconciliation is not easy. It's about changing the status quo. It's about changing how we're in relationships. It's about changing how we do business. Uh, so the opportunity to come together, sit down, learn from one another, uh, find out A, what's working, and B, more importantly, what's not working, and the change that still lays ahead of us is critically important in this overall process. Uh, so when we come away from these places, often we come away wondering, did we accomplish anything? Did we get anywhere this time? This time we have a goal, you know, and the goal is working together. Uh, as broad and simple as that is, that's such an important thing to start from. So we need to come together with communities on a regular basis to re-establish goals, to continue to evaluate what's been done so far, how can we do it better, establish new visions, new actions, new plans, and that, that's a never-ending journey. I got a real sense of excitement in the room as people who have known each other for years came together and also new voices and new energy to bring to this cause. This is a cause that transcends geography, it transcends history. I hope that we can work together to complete the project that is Canada and that includes acknowledging our past and moving forward, moving forward together, moving forward so that all children 
have access to the transformative power of higher education, that they feel empowered and enabled to live to their full potential.